Dinner, movie, you pick. You feel bad for me because Ben ditched me. Did I say that? It was implied. And oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I'm getting something else. I think, oh, you hate seeing me cooped up in here like this, waiting for Ben when there are like a million other guys out there. At least a million. I don't want any other guys. You don't? No. No other guys? No. Not Cary Grant? No. Hey, Shane. Hey. Hey, Buzz. Hey. How's your mom? Uh, she's hanging in there. And you Thanks. know what? Bad timing, Shane, because we were actually just closing. Sorry. But you didn't put the sign yet, so you can't turn me away. He has a point. Well, I'm not firing up the grill. Uh, Shane, I just sweep the floor. Uh, Pitching mound sorry. dirt is always welcome here. That baseball cap does not grant you the right to track in a bunch of dirt. What is with this costume? Anyway, I thought you, like, only played lacrosse. And I thought you listened to me when I talked to you. I've only been playing baseball all my life, but hey, no big deal. Oh, right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. High school baseball. And that would be, uh, what exactly, other than a line on your college applications? Speaking of college applications... Yeah. So have you heard anything I've said to you in the last two years? Yeah, of course. Of course. I hang on your every word. I think my only regret is that I didn't try out for the cheerleading squad. That way I could have cheered you on in all your glory. Hmm. Baseball doesn't have cheerleaders. Yeah, I, I, I realized that. Thank you. I was, I was, <laughs> just, what, what do you want? What do you mean? To eat. What do you want to eat? You came in here for food, right? Yeah. Um, hmm. How about a hamburger with no bun and some milk, skim milk, and some of those curly fries? Mm. You know, if you're having the fries, you may as well have the bun. No, the fries are for you. You always eat mine. I do not. Shane thinks he's a big leaguer. It's cute, right? Real cute. Are you kidding me? You wouldn't say that if you had seen him throw. You must be kidding. I, you know who he is? You go to the same school, don't you? I know. I hardly ever see him, though. He's really good, huh? Good? Well, he, he had a great record last year. Uh, but, you know, the off-season has been very good to me. He's bigger, stronger, faster. I mean, he's just, he's the, you know, stuff that baseball dreams are made of. Really? He can throw heat? Uh, 95 what kind miles of, an hour. What kind of stuff's he got? Two-seam, four-seam, fastball, wicked change-up, and a sweeping curveball that would make a grown man weep. I'm telling you, it's not just a pass into the girls' locker room. It's a ticket out of town for this guy. They had major league scouts scouting him out in the preseason. There's going to be more to follow. I mean, unless I miss my guess, he's going to be in the major leagues before he has his first legal drink. Wow. Shane Lewis, big time. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, well, good for him. Who knew? I thought you said the girl was off for the night. Yeah, well, my grandfather happened to think you're the second coming to baseball, so, you know, he decided to fire it up for you. Oh, by the way, he wants tickets to the World Series 2008 or whenever it may be that you make your big score. He's got them. So, you really got some juice in that arm? <laughs> Come on. What? Wait. You're trying to talk baseball with me now? You don't know baseball. Oh, believe me, Shane Lewis, I know baseball. I mean, it's cool. You know plenty of other things. What other things exactly do I know? Uh, Ben, Ben, Ben. Oh, oh and, uh, Ben. I have other interests. I mean, you know what? You've got a great voice. I think, I mean, you're really gonna win, like, a million Grammys one day. You really think I have a good voice? Yeah. See, but then you're gonna probably get married a million times like J-Lo. Uh -huh. And you're gonna forget all about your first husband, Ben. All right, you know what? Back to baseball, because I seriously do know it. I don't know. Watching the rookie four times doesn't count. It was three times. Dennis Quaid is really hot for an old guy. Anyway, you don't believe me? Ask me anything you want. <clears throat> okay. Uh, infield fly rule. What is it? That is too easy. It's when you got less than two outs. You got runners on first and second. It's a force play. Umpire signals an infield fly ball is ruled catchable by an infielder. Batter's out of there, and the runners can advance their own <laughs> risk. Oh, and uh, bunts and line drives don't count. Uh, How's that? That's pretty scary, mm -hmm. but in a good way. 
I mean, how do you know baseball? How do you know this? My dad used to take me to Cubs games when I was a little kid. Then when my mom decided to ruin our happy family and whisk us away to California, I really miss my dad, and I don't know, I would never miss a Cubs game. I even would check the sports section of the paper because I knew my dad was doing the same thing. I just... I guess it made me feel like he wasn't that far away. And to this day, even when my family can't agree on anything, at least there's one place where we're all on the same team. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. I mean, me and my dad, we have our baseball moments, too, but it's nothing like that. All right. You know what? This is getting a little too mushy for me. We are officially a few lines shy of a greeting card. So, <laughs> let's see it. Let's see what? What are you Your talking about? Your pitch emotion. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Sir, are you okay with this? Well, if you break anything, it comes out of her paycheck. All right, quit stalling, Lewis. Let's play ball. Come on, let's do this right. Uh. Hey. I'll catch. You're not chicken, are you? <clears throat> so what are the stakes? I get the satisfaction of beating you. No, no, I can't play unless something's on the line. Oh, all right. Next thing you're gonna tell me, you got lucky socks. You do, don't you? Okay, stakes. Stakes, 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 stakes. All right, you gotta buy me two tickets opening day at the Cubbies. Done. Get ready to lose. Oh, I don't lose. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yes, 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 A yes, little yes. grace and victory. Oh, Come are on. you kidding me? Grace is for losers, and, uh, that would be you, Shane. Yeah, but you know what? I still get to go to the game with you, so I still think I'm the winner. No way. I'm taking Ben. To the victor goes the spoils. Yeah. Not. Nah. I don't know what happened to me back then, I and mean, I usually have more control than that. Yeah, no kidding. You were, like, all over the place. You know what used to really help me? I uh, used to picture the ball as being the head of someone that I, like, really, really hated. And then I could, I could just hit... I guess that doesn't really work for pitching, though, does it? And, well, you're, like, the nicest guy ever, so you probably don't hate anyone. This is pitching, not hitting, remember? I know, I know. I'm just trying to help you out, because you're the next Mickey Mantle or whatever. Okay, new bet. I already won. No, but this time I'm going to throw in for programs, cotton candy, pretzels, hot dogs, I mean, the works. Mm -hmm. For you and for Ben. Oh. All right, Lewis, you're on. Let's play ball, Grandpa. Grab a bun. Thank you. 